So today we will prove a very important relationship in probability and statistics which is about a sum of uh, random variables and how does the variance of that sum relate to the individual variances. Um, so the result is already shown here we will only start proving this result. So we'll start with the left hand side. So we have variance of x1 plus x2 this is equal to what expected value of x1 plus x2 squared minus expected value of x1 plus x2 squared right. so the first part is expected value of x1 squared plus x2 squared plus 2 times x1 x2 the second part is e of x expected value of x1 squared plus expected value of x2 squared plus 2 times expected value of x1 expected value of x2 okay so then we will write it as the first term becomes expected value of x1 squared plus expected value of x2 squared plus 2 times expected value of x1 x2 minus expected value of x1 squared minus expected value of x2 squared minus 2 times expected value of x1 expected value of x2 okay so then we will combine this and this term and this and this term and this and this term so we will get expected value of x1 squared minus expected value of x1 squared plus expected value of x2 squared minus expected value of x2 squared plus 2 times expected value of x1 x2 minus expected value of x1 expected value of x2 okay so then this guy is what variance of x1 this guy is what variance of x2 this guy is what covariance of x1 x2 so we have reached our final result which is variance of x1 plus x2 which was the starting point and this is equal to variance of x1 plus variance of x2 uh, plus 2 times covariance of x1 and x2 okay. now can we extend it to n random variables can we write something like this if we have n random variables then what so this is first of all the same as so we sum all the individual variances so plus um all the dissimilar so i is equal to 1 to n j is equal to 1 to n i not equal to j then we have two times covariance of x i x j so this is the result for n random variables okay so 
you we will use this result and when we talk about when we will talk about our uh, binomial random variables Bernoulli random variables Harper geometric and so on uh, but this result is very important and it has to be kept in mind whenever you are talking about uh, some of some random variables thank you for watching hope you like the video